Hello, welcome back to another episode of Kenneth's Corner. Today I am going to make some stew pork. The last time I had pork was last year for Christmas. It's not something that I cook on a regular once a year and the pork I'm talking about will be a ham. Absolutely nothing else. I really don't eat pork like that anymore. As a child, yes, it's always been cooked in my home. But as an adult, it's not something that I cook at all. Except for ham on Christmas time. So, today let's make some stew pork. I went to the supermarket. I purchased the pieces that they already have for stewing. That is what I call stew pieces. So, I bought two pounds of that. And we are going to cook that today. We're going to make some stew pork, rice, and some lentils. But I'm not going to show you the rice and the lentils and all that. I'm just telling you what I'm going to going with the stew pork. So, let's get in the kitchen and cook some good stew pork with some coconut milk in it. Let's get cracking with today's recipe, stew pork. So let's go out into the garden and pick some thyme. Uh, I think that's it because I have a lot of pimento that I picked on my tree already. So I don't need that. I have chilies. I have everything else. So let's just go outside in the garden, pick some small thyme. Oh, and um, some of my bananas are coming to come. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Let me show you the bananas and stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is just one set of about three different patch we have. We have a lot of bananas growing and more but mostly plantains too because we really like plantains. So and I have some more pumpkin running on the gong here and and in the backyard as you will always see. But first let's pick some thyme. This is also some of the thyme that I transplanted that you all saw in the back garden. So this is the main tree that I have here, but you know, I want to spread it. And I have some other pumpkin, which is also in the thyme patch. This is a uh, cousin to that pumpkin. This is also flowering. I have some wonder to go leaf, amazing for things like air ache and stuff. This is the saffron also, some of the saffron that I transplanted recently because they are a little too thick in this area. Still have some more to transplant, but yeah. Pumpkin is flowers in and I have a cherry tree. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so I'm going to use some of my seasoning. I also use some shadow benny, cilantro, some would call it. So I'm going to, after washing my pork properly, I'm going to squeeze the lemon and I'm going to cut up all of the other seasoning and I'm going to let that marinate for two hours. Then I'm going to put like a proper pot spoon that you would use of sugar into my pan and I'm going to cook one pound. I actually bought two pounds, but for this recipe, I'm going to use a pound of pork. Alright, so in the Caribbean, we love to caramelize our meat and it's a way of preserving your meat. You can leave this meat on the stove. I left it already three days and it still wasn't spoiling in no way, shape or form. It was good, you know, and that is how our ancestors did it back in the day to preserve meat for a long time, you know, when they have meat. They didn't have refrigerators, yes? <laughs> So once this has caramelized and has, you start seeing it bubbling like that in the side there, is, you want to give it a stir and some people at this point would add some butter just to ensure that it doesn't get bitter, but I don't, I used to, but I stopped. So I'm going to add my meat to this and I am going to coat this meat. And I let that sit in that sugar mixture there for two minutes and then I'm going to add now my coconut milk. Right, so once you leave that to sit for your two minutes and it burns you down really nice, you're going to add your coconut milk and turn it around and I will let that sit and cook in all its juices. Now I didn't add any extra salt or anything to this 
while I added the hot pepper. And I let that cook on a low heat and I let that cook for about half an hour actually. It wasn't more than half an hour. And I had also, as I said, some lentils cooking. I had this with some rice. And that is how easily I made my stew pork with coconut milk. As I said, the real reason that, you know, we adapt this cooking is from our ancestors, you know, they needed a way to preserve the meat and this is how they do it. And it's really, really delicious. And the coconut milk adds an extra bit of creaminess and taste to this. Don't forget to check out my previous recipe and look out for chocolate and chit chat on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.